Hello, I'm Dr. Chad Hawk with Dr. Steve Hoffman with this week's Hi, Mastery Moments. So we are going to be talking about this um, horrible situation that's developed in our profession where there's <laughs> so much uh, radical pushback against our own lexicon. Steve, you have any thoughts on that? Well, lots of thoughts. Uh, and I, I don't know if we can contain this to a five-minute uh, interview. But I, I think there's nothing new. I think uh, if you study trends, this uh, entire thing has been uh, relatively predictable. Uh, the, the pushback and the negative connotations about our lexicon and subluxation and removing the neuro from neuromusculoskeletal, uh, you know, nothing new. Happened in the 20s and 30s, happened in the 60s and 70s. Uh, no surprise that it's happening again. And uh, I, I really view it as a move to separate uh, the vitalists from the allopaths in uh, the profession. Uh, I think ultimately somewhere along the way, um, you know, if you want to be a neuromusculoskeletal specialist, I'm okay with that. If you want to take the neuro out and just be a musculoskeletal specialist, good luck to you. Um, but you know, it, it all comes down to caving on our principles in an attempt to have the public find out that they that their thought process about us was correct. It's you know it's too much for them to understand neuromusculoskeletal, so and they already understand musculoskeletal, so we'll preach mus musculoskeletal. We're whacked. We're the only profession in the world that thinks that way. You know, what does the public think of attorneys? Well, right. what if the attorneys went into agreement with that? Just because that's what the public already knows. Yeah. The public would never be inspired to know anything different about attorneys or about us. And I, I, I think if, if we don't communicate our message in a way that inspires people to go, oh, that's different. And I think that uh, my approach is going to be a little bit different than yours. I think that it is the time for us to stand incredibly strong, and it's a time of growth. When you get pushback from within, the time to be proactive is now. So the time for those practices who are already principled, who are already vitalistic, who already have a clear purpose, vision, and mission for what they're doing, and they take this message to their practice members, the time is now to capitalize on it. Because the public, and I think I said this last week, the public, in my opinion, embraces our message and they never fight against this. It's always doctors who are confused, chiropractors who are confused, chiropractors who live in a, a state of lack and chiropractors who, um, and, and my heart feels for them. I don't mean this, sure. I'm not trying to be mean, but they come from a place of fear that's completely unfounded. And I don't know where they got it from, how they adopted it, or I don't really, at this point, I don't care why, yeah. because I right. can't change them. What I can change is people who are listening to this today become proactive. Um, I, a, a month ago, I was at Dust, uh, Dr. Dustin Barton's office, and sure. I did a big lay lecture about the global vision of chiropractic, where all I spoke about was subluxation. The place was filled with patients. Afterwards, line of people coming up to ask me more, and they hear that message from Dust, Dr. Barton already. It's sure. not a foreign message. It's just a new way of sharing the same material. You know what? Go crazy. Invite Dr. Steve and I out to come and do an MC2 seminar. Invite us to come out and do a lay lecture for your people. Let's take the message back to the people. To the public. That's it. Because, again, looking at trends, Chad, and you're so right, what shifted the tide uh, 80 years ago and what shifted the tide 40 years ago was educating, inspiring, involving our publics, both within our practice and within our communities, to an unwatered down, unfiltered, unfettered chiropractic message. Not a message that we think they would embrace, but the story that we've all embraced. And so I'm with you. 
Absolutely. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching this week's Mastery Moments. Contact Steve at Dr. Steve Hoffman, or excuse me, Dr. Steve at drstevehoffman.com. You can contact me at chad at drchadhawk.com. And also, please, if you're interested in the Simplicity Program, space yes. is incredibly limited. It's August 28th, 29th in Denver, and we only have a few spots open. I can't believe it's filling up so quickly. So awesome. contact me directly if you'd like more information. Steve, any yeah. closing thoughts? Yes, please do that. And uh, we, neither of us need to be forgiven for our, our rants today. So, Amen to that. <laughs> Amen, right? All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.